Hello, it's Debs here and as usual it is great to have you with me. So today I wanted to talk to you about something that a client brought up with me recently. Um, it went something like this, the client was talking to me and they said, I just want to feel better, I want to have a great life. I can see that controlling everything has been my um, strategy so far and it's just not working. In fact, it's more than not working, everything is falling apart. Um, I'm in a mess, my life is a mess, and there was a load of descriptions, and then it was like, help, how can you help me? So how do we find a way to feel better in life? How do we find a way to have a better life? How do we feel better and get the results that we want? Because I know for me, I have stuff I want to create in the world, results that I want to get. Um, a little while ago, I made a video exploring your spiritual nature, a video similar to this one, and someone commented on that video to say, well, it's all very nice being spiritual, but that doesn't really help me in, in my life. Um, it was, and I actually didn't see the comment until very recently, and this was a, a video that I made quite a long time ago, so I haven't done anything about that comment. But it did get me thinking, because that absolutely has not been my experience. So I am curious as to, you know, what is this person doing? What do they see? Their, is their spiritual journey? What is it they're doing? What spiritual journey are they on? Because I know from everything that I've been doing, the reason I make these videos, the reason I share, the reason I do what I do is because I have had out the park results. Life changing things have happened to me <clears throat> and my family members and my clients that I work with on a regular basis. That's kind of quite normal. Um, and I know there's more to come. Uh, you know, from even from where I was six months ago, a year ago, a month ago, I'm seeing more and, and things are evolving. I'm seeing new, fresh things every day. And I know I want more results in my life. I have outcomes that I still want to achieve. I love being human and it feels to me like part of who I am. That means I have desires, I have these things. And I, I don't believe that I'm here to squash those desires, but more to realise them and to have a fern-filled, interestingly, interesting lively, energetic, crazy life. That, that's definitely me. To live on purpose and to keep doing that. I know that's what I want. That's my desire. But I guess in a life is, is a strange thing. Well, certainly the way it works is anyway. I had no clue how it worked. But since I've begun to look in this direction and begin to see how it works, it's really changed things for me. And it works backwards. All this stuff we see on the outside changes when we change from the inside. However, however much the temptation is to go out there and change things, real sustainable change happens in here. And we seem to really struggle to get our heads around that. I know um, in some arenas when I bring that up, I am really, um, people really argue against that and, and push me down when I say that. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, I find that interesting. But what I really see is the more urgent a problem seems on the outside, the more important it is for us to go inside if we truly want to solve it. Yet in the places um, that we get pulled outside, you know, in those places where the problem looks really big and we do get pulled outside before we've done enough of the practical work in our own consciousness, those are the places that we really struggle and just perpetuate. We become a part of the problem, not part of the solution. So just to clarify what when I was saying there, Inside, what I'm pointing to when I'm talking about inside, that means our formless nature, the spiritual gift of thought that we have. And the outside, when I'm talking about the outside, that means the world of form. And that actually even includes our own bodies. They are kind of outside. They're not our, that spiritual deeper part of who we are. So 
if our life isn't working, if your life isn't working and you want to feel better, if you want to get healthy, sustainable results, because we can do things like we can use our willpower and work really hard and do things. But if you really want to do something that is healthy and sustainable and that doesn't burn you out and leave you feeling unsatisfied after a while, you know, you just come back to that feeling of, of dissatisfaction dissatisfied feeling. Um, we need to be going inside. We need to be diligently doing the practical work within our own consciousness every day. But most of us have no idea how to do that. I know I didn't. I had no idea um, and nobody ever told me it was a good idea or how to do it. Um, I didn't learn it at school or from my parents, even though I did have a religious upbringing. I just kept on people pleasing, blaming others, defending myself, all mostly without even realise that, realising that's what I was doing and having no idea of how to do anything differently. So I wanted to share today a really great first step if you are in a, a bit of a struggle, if you are in that place. A really great first step is to take a look at yourself and honest, non-judgmental look at yourself and at your life and see where you need to change, see where changes need to be made, see what it is you would like to be different. Because I don't think we do that very often. And the two key words here are honest and non-judgmental. And that non-judgmental means either towards yourself or anyone else you feel might be to blame for where you are, for what you're feeling, for, for your life at the moment. So just stopping and taking an honest, non-judgmental look at yourself and your life. Just doing that will set you on a new path. I've seen people, when I, when I work with people, I've seen people visibly sigh with relief when they allow themselves to be honest with themselves in this way. I've seen a weight go off their shoulders just by doing this, just by having the courage to look and be honest with themselves. Um, it's the first step, you know, that, that the thing that I shared with you at the beginning, that strategy of control. And I think whether we know it or not, or mean to or not, a lot of us are a lot more controlling when we take that non-judgmental look at ourselves we we begin to see just how controlling we are even when we are um, seen as the victim and we are the people pleaser side of, of the pendulum that I sometimes talk about it's quite surprising when we see how how controlling we actually are when we look so and doing this is the first step to letting go of that control the the, the control that destroys and stops the flow of life and what we are here doing what we are here is getting back into that beautiful flow that's what this is all about so give it a try <laughs> I would invite you to give it a try um, and let me know how you get on I always love hearing from you I always love your comments and you know anything that you want to share um, and if you are interested in diving a little bit deeper with me in this, I, I regularly do um, a five day free problem solving adventure. Um, I love doing that. I mean, um, and there will be a link here below. You can sign up, find out when the next one is and sign up. And I also the link there will be links to my website. I work with people in other ways. I do mentoring. I, I mentor, pe mentor people and help them dive more deeply and look in this direction more deeply. So, as I said, I always love your comments and likes on the videos. That really helps me, <laughs> it keeps me going. So if you would like to do that, that would be great. Take care, have a lovely day, and I will see you somewhere soon. Bye for now.